Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest laptop that I have bought for my personal use. Basically, it's I was searching for uh, probably a few weeks which laptop I'm going to buy. Uh, I was like on the tight budget. I had only like 600 euros, which is around 700 dollars, maybe more, maybe less, like 680 or something. So basically, I wanted to have a Ryzen 5, the latest generation of the CPU. I wanted to have good battery, 14 inch display, so that is like really mobile, I can carry it around. Uh, and like, I wanted to have a touch screen, because this is my first laptop with a touch screen, but I must say I'm really impressed. So basically, I bought the Lenovo Flex 5. This is not gonna be like review in which you are going to get like all the technical details and everything. I'm just gonna say like what I think about this laptop and what is my personal experience. Basically, I am a heavy user of the laptop. I'm using, I don't know, Photoshop, uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, I'm using, of course, Chrome all the time. I have like, I don't know, 10 20 tabs open at the same time word document excel and everything you know just the standard and the thing is that sometimes i'm just i just like to play some video games it's they are not the main games like really high-end games i have an xbox for that and a gaming pc but like sometimes you just want to you have one hour spare just to you know kill some time uh, time and i just want to play some video games so basically i think that i got i got everything in this laptop for about 600 euro which is like crazy so let's start with the specification this is lenovo flex 5 14 inch two in one laptop so you can basically use it as a tablet and in, as a laptop i must say that i I think that this is really good, you know, as when you read something or are you watching YouTube or something like that, you know, I, I use a tablet mode a lot and the screen is 14 inch full HD 1080p touch. We got a AMD Ryzen 5 4500U CPU. This model that I have, it has only 8 gigabytes of RAM. 8 gigabytes of RAM and is DDR4, but it's in dual channel mode, so basically it's like 4 gigabytes times 2. It has 256 gigabyte SSD. You can upgrade the SSD, but you cannot upgrade the memory. So that was my biggest concern if the 8 gigabyte is going to be enough for me, but it is, you know. Everything is fast, everything is working good. I have been using this laptop for a week now and probably I, in a year I'm going to change it anyway. So I think that for a year I'm I'm good, you know, 8 gigs will gonna be enough, at least for me, but you can buy a 16, gig, 16 gigabyte option as well. Probably it's gonna be a little bit expensive, but you know, overall 8 gigs is enough and yeah, regarding the battery, I was searching the laptop that's going to last at least 8 hours for me. And this laptop can last 8 hours. So, like, it's going to last the whole, true whole day without any issue. And you can charge it, like, during the night. And in the morning, you're going to have a laptop for the whole day. So uh, when it regarding the connection, you got HDMI, you got just the normal lap, laptop charger, HDMI, USB 3.0, 3.5 slot for the, for the headset, uh, touchpad is fine, nothing special, but it's it do like it's it's decent enough, nothing special. On the other side, we have two. USB tip 2.0 or 3.0, I'm not sure. And we have a SD card slot and the power button, and that's basically it. But, like, what do you need more? Like, uh, <laughs> that's like the standard, you know. 
So yeah, regarding the screen, the screen is really nice. Uh, I have read the review that the screen is not perfect. It's not like, yeah, it's not perfect, but for this price, it's like really good, trust me. So basically, if you have two or three years old laptop, you're going to be amazed how this screen looks. Of course, you cannot compare this screen with, uh, I don't know, 2000 euro laptop, but it's, it's fine. The only thing that uh, it's, uh, it's not perfect, it's when you lower the screen like uh, light, sometimes it looks like too dark, you know, but you just put it on the max and it's gonna be, or, or two or like 80%. And it's gonna be perfect, like so. Touch screen is really responsive. Everything is working fast. So we have a CPU. CPU is six core, six threads, and I think it's like more than enough. Uh, regarding the games, I'm going to make a short video of one minute me playing Fortnite. <laughs> But most of the games like League of Legends, CSGO, old games like Dirt 3, Dirt 4, uh, I don't know, like standard shooters are gonna work like really good, you know. In 1080p you, you can, on, even on some older game you, you can uh, set uh, settings to the medium, you know, so like it's a pretty decent machine. I, I, I'm usually playing games on my PC or on my Xbox, but when I want to play some like short game like Fortnite, I have half half an hour for one game. I'm just gonna use the laptop and just enjoy because like I'm really impressed. You're you're going to see the uh, the performance in Fortnite. Like it's 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 crazy that you can get like uh, uh, this kind of performance for six hundred uh, six hundred euro laptop like so uh i think that this laptop like is much stronger than, than the uh nintendo switch so and like the game li library is much larger so okay that's it so if you are searching a laptop for the i don't know for around 600 euros or 650 dollars this is the one to go it has everything it's pretty solid construct like it's 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 pretty solid you know it's not it's not like premium but it's decent enough it's only one and a half kilogram and there's no overheating and overall really good laptop so now I'm just gonna show you of about one or two minutes I when I'm playing Fortnite and that's it if you are planning to buy a laptop by this one i'm really impressed yeah the thing is i forgot i uninstalled the fortnite <laughs> yeah so basically uh, i'm not gonna show you a gameplay but it's running really fine on 1080p you can get from 60 to 90 fps in performance mode which is insane and even uh the uh texture details are on medium or high I think so really good performance you can play a lot of games on this laptop and yeah that's it thanks for watching this was my honest opinion if you are planning to buy this laptop go for it it's a really good laptop see you in the next video